What's up, Epic Gamers? <laughs> Welcome back to the domain. This is just a, a little bit of a rambling video, unedited. I just wanted to get a few points across uh, that I think you should all know about. First of all, I wanted to start with the elephant sand nest. I've seen a lot of uh, debate and speculation coming back and forward across the community, which is odd because uh, we actually had this information confirmed at least a few months ago that the elephant sand nest, sand trap, sand nest, sand box is delayed for another year until fall 2023. I've seen a lot of comments sort of resurfacing over the last week saying what happened to this set. Just wanted to reinstate that yes, it is coming, but it is delayed until fall of next year. I think that was by far the better decision from what I can gather. Mega just didn't have the production run available. And you have to always ask yourself, what would you rather have Mega do? Release a set that is not, uh, you know, well distributed or wait a year and distribute it properly because this set is outrageous. I mean, it comes with a mini Cortana, Chief, Lord Hood, Johnson, and two Halo 3 Marines, which that is that is actually an absurd amount. So uh, it was confirmed quite a while ago from uh, Mega Constructs News. If you do not follow Mega Constructs News, they're a great Twitter and Instagram account. I've been friends with the guy for a long time, and yeah, it was uh, delayed. He uh, updated us on 22nd of July saying that Yan had um, confirmed this, and I did did see the original tweet or the original post on Discord that Yan did confirm this. I can't find that original source, but I mean, I did see it. I know that this set is delayed for a year, so I just wanted to reinstate that. The point of today's video is not the elephant sadness. The point is to uh, sort of direct you guys in the right direction. You want to be directed in the right direction of some new Halo sets that are available online, you know? I think it's very important. And I was struggling with this for a while because uh, I didn't know whether or not to, like, I don't necessarily like to make news videos about uh, releases online, about inventory online, mainly because when I do do that, they almost immediately sell out. But at the end of the day, people have been really concerned about getting these sets. Uh, I know that after I make this video, this is going to be very time sensitive. I imagine the prices will change quite quickly once I've made this video. Websites like Walmart and Amazon have like automatic bots installed that like when a certain amount of stock sells, they jack the price back up. But at the same time, I know a lot of people aren't even aware that Arbiter's Quest or ODST Hives are actually available online. And I want to make sure you guys get the product for the holidays. And besides, who would I rather, uh, the, you know, these products go to? Like some random bots online, some scalpers, or my guys, my dudes, my friends. So I thought I'd make this video. Uh, please do keep in mind that the uh, prices may have already changed even like 10 minutes after I make this video, but I just want to try my best to get this information to you regardless. So, Across Walmart and Amazon, there are quite a few sets that are actually available, and a lot of them are really great prices. So, we're gonna start with the Ghost of Requiem. I advertised this uh, just yesterday, and uh, I think a lot of people were happy about it. $10. $10. $10 is ludicrous for this set because that's essentially $2.50 a figure and then a free ghost. <laughs> and uh, this is arguably the best ghost ever made. I certainly think so. Uh, it is the, the goat of the ghosts, the ghost goat, the greatest of all time. It's just got this, this, this honeycomb pattern is like just exceptional quality. So I uh, would highly recommend this. I would arguably recommend this above any other set. Uh, you know, $10 to get two Halo 4 Marines. I'm uh, in that, that, I'm in that, you know, that field. I don't know if it's like an unpopular opinion, but I think Halo 4 Marines are arguably the best. And then we got that Grunt and Geklaha. And that Geklaha does actually stand out. It has more detail than you would think it does. It has a lot of nice speckling effects on its skin. Actually, mine has a, a lot more than that one shows. And then it's got a lot of yellow light on all of the armor and it actually stands out as its own thing like at first when I saw that it was Geklaha but it wasn't really Geklaha like Geklaha is just a basic elite in this picture like this is just a basic storm elite and I was like ah Mega's just calling it Geklaha but like legitimately it is a standout out figure like it does stand alone to any other Halo 4 figures or any other Halo 4 elite so I would happily call it my Geklaha. So we got the Ghost of Requiem for ten dollars, reduced from fifteen. Uh, we're actually seventeen on this one. And I always want to point out, a lot of people don't do this. You should always go on this list. Go down to Warehouse, wherever it is. Where's Warehouse? What? 
Where's warehouse? Oh, you know what? I probably probably doesn't show warehouse because I'm not logged in because it's only deals in your in your specific location. So usually you would select warehouse, then type in Halo, and it would show you uh, Halo sleep sack saddle. No, it swaddle. No, it would show you uh, Halo related items that have been returned to Amazon, so they're always cheaper. And I don't always like you know you know advertising Amazon because it's like the biggest corporation ever. But I mean these prices, it is what it is. And distribution, you know, we're in the middle of a billion problems in the world, so distribution's not amazing. So I mean, regardless, I, I want I want my guys, I want my followers to get uh, the the new sets, right? So go to Requiem, ten dollars. And remember, if you're in the UK or other countries, you can go on Amazon.com and still order from Amazon.com. It just costs a little bit more for import fees and shipping, but it's still probably the best way you could get. Uh, sets in your country. So we got Ghost of Requiem and we've got Arbiter's Quest. I honestly I'm surprised by this. I didn't think it would ever actually come out uh, uh, online. I thought it was just going to be Fred Mayer and Kroger exclusive until until the day we die. But there, there it is. $23.39 reduced from $27. The Arbiter's Quest is a great set. I would always say that I would rather just have a all purple heretic banshee. But at the same time, this Arbiter is this Arbiter is actually surprising. Like, I didn't, I didn't think this Arbiter was going to be this good quality, but, like, it's got a really good wash on it. Like, it's arguably the best Arbiter we've got, uh, at least in recent times. Uh, maybe the only Arbiter that tops it is the Repo Marami figure, the Halo Hero. But yeah, Arbiter's Quest. That uh, that purple banshee is still gorgeous. Yeah, I I, I think these uh, these sort of uh, missiles or whatever uh, plasma turrets are a little little bit too big. But I mean, that's that's a tiny thing. So the Arbiter's Quest is available on uh, Amazon.com. And look at that. It says no import fees, deposit, and ten dollars shipping to UK. So no import fees. That's really good. So only an additional ten dollars shipping to the UK. That would be twenty four dollars. Uh, I mean thirty four dollars, uh, which it's okay. I mean, the Arbiter's Quest retailed in things like Kroger for $30, so if you're paying $34 total to get it into the UK, I think that's actually a pretty good deal. So the Arbiter's Quest. Then we go on to Walmart. So these two, available to ship to the UK. Go grab them, my UK brothers and friends. But the ODST Hive Exterminator is officially on Amazon... Uh, Amazon, damn. <laughs> officially on Walmart.com. $20. $20 for this absolute banger of a set. Like, I mean, that you don't get much better than this. You do not get much better than this. ODST Tarkov looks great. All of the uh, little details, the medic looks awesome. The stem pack looks great. The firing Spartan laser. Only the second time we've ever got the firing Spartan laser, I believe, maybe the third time. And then these two drones have great battle damage. It's identical battle damage, but it's still really, really good battle damage. The ODST flag, Excellent, excellent. We are ODST. Yes, we are. Apparently not in 343's eyes. I don't know why ODSTs aren't in 343 games. It confuses the heck out of me, because clearly the, the fan base is just roaring for ODSTs. I don't know. But $20, it says down from $30. do not ever believe that. Um, uh, Walmart has this uh, annoying feature where they list something and then they immediately, like, they don't expect to really even sell it for RRP. They always want to reduce the price. So, like, this was not... This was never $20. Like, the red team charge is $30. I mean, this was never $30. The red team charge was like $30, $32. This was never $30. This was $20. So I don't know what they're playing at. But ODST Hive Exterminator is available on Walmart.com. I want everybody to know that because I need you to get hold of this set. I know it's been one of those, like, you know, people were upset that it was signed off as a Walmart exclusive. I, you know, I'm on the fence. I don't particularly like Target and Walmart exclusives, but at the same time, if Mega needs to sign an exclusive deal with a company to continue distribution to that company, especially with a long-standing history with that company, I have to support it. Like, uh, I I only have Mega's best interests at heart at this point. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm 11 years deep on this YouTube channel, man. I gotta, I gotta keep gotta keep Mega going. All right, so ODST Hive Exterminator is twenty dollars, and the ODST Hive Exterminator is the successor to the Banished Garrison Pack, which is also still twenty dollars. Which again outstanding set. I love, I love this Trailblazer and this Marine with the Balaclava. Uh, we got the Jump Pack Brute, not as good as the turret uh, or the uh, radio, the radar wreckage Jump Pack Brute. That is the best one, but still very good. And the Gold Brute, we may as well call Bassus until we get an official Bassus figure. But considering we got an Ichnorvus or whatever it's called in the new Halo Heroes 17, it's likely we might get a Bassus eventually. I would love one. 
Okay, so these two, $20, absolutely great prices. The last two, I just thought I'd add into the list. They're old sets, but I mean, why not? The Master Chief versus Brute Warrior is great for $10. And if you're entering the Christmas Toymation Fest, $10 is a great price uh, for a Master Chief because you need a Master Chief. Though I will note, we did a poll recently and most of the community found that they would rather uh, allow anybody to enter. So we're actually going to announce, I think, tomorrow that uh, all Green Spartans are welcome. Um, and also, I do not live in Sacramento. <laughs> All green Spartans are welcome, but Master Chiefs are encouraged. But if you want a Halo Infinite Master Chief to do your animation with, this is great. And uh, that painted assault rifle is one of my favorites. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, yep, that one. I love that painted assault rifle. I can't really beat the green from Halo 5, but uh, I do like it. They, uh, we've got a lot of painted gravity hammers, but you do get an opportunity for a painted shock rifle. Painted shock rifle also appears in the Capture the Flag helmet, but uh, very rare. And even the uh, the uh, Mangler is a good paint, uh, has some good paint apps too. Yeah, uh, good set. And the last thing, you can actually buy Infinite uh, Series. I mean, this is an awful image. I don't know who uploaded this. It's a travesty. Um, Walmart has this weird thing where uh, you can uh, sell yourself on walmart.com, which is not a problem. Like, I'm not against that. But it's weird where, like, when you search Halo, you don't really know what is, like, an... Uh, what? Halo oranges? Halo ice cream? Uh, I guess they don't know my search results, so they're giving me other stuff. Uh, there we go. So when you search Halo, you don't actually know uh, what is uh, officially, uh, a, like, you don't know what is officially a Walmart listing, what is officially a fan listing, which, in my opinion, is a bit disingenuous. Like, I would rather know what uh, was uh, a random dude selling it versus Walmart officially, because, you know, quality varies, used, like it might be a used item, I don't know, I just closed down the tab I needed, and I'm in uh, incognito mode, so I can't even get it back. Um, Halo blind bag. So yeah, you can buy uh, Halo Infinite Series 4 blind bags on Amazon, which is cool. Um, yeah, look at that, $4. So you may as well pick some of them up if you're, if you're missing out on Infinite Series 4. And I also just want to point out one more thing, because I, 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 I want to, like, let me know in the comments down below if you like these kind of videos. I want to sort of try and label them correctly so people know what kind of video they're clicking on, but I like these these random rambling videos, and while I'm packing, because I'm leaving America in two weeks, while I'm packing, it's it's great to just be able to put this video out. Uh, one more thing I wanted to point out today before I go. Um, you, wait, what was I, what, wait, what I going to point out? I was talking about blind bags. Oh yeah, I've seen, yeah, everybody's seen the rumors, okay, that Halo Heroes have been discontinued from Walmarts and Targets. I can't find the actual source of this information, and I don't trust it yet. So don't start, uh, you know, spreading false information that uh, that Walmart and Target have discontinued the Halo Heroes line. I haven't seen any evidence, and even if you ask someone in a store, it's very unlikely that they'll actually know, because usually it'll be way above their head. And distribution is all over the place nowadays, like all over the place. You see what's happening in China, like, Distribution's crazy, so just because heroes aren't here yet does not mean they might just appear tomorrow. They might not just appear tomorrow in every target, so be patient. Once I have some information on that, I will let you guys know, but um, yeah. That about sums up today. Uh, I'm going to be live stream building the uh, buildable forward unto dawn in about four hours time. I'll link it down below once the uh, the stream is uh, scheduled. Um, and I hope you join me to uh, build the forward unto dawn because it's going to be a great video. Strandy42 might join me. And then, yeah, I got two weeks left in America. I'm packing everything down. Um, thank you for all your support on Billy. Uh, yeah, he lost his arm. Uh, he fell off a dashboard. But uh, Gorilla Glue got it back together again. And now he's joined his, uh, his Billy brothers all all in a in a lovely little congregation <laughs> all right shout out to you all you stay awesome you stay safe out there folks i hope you enjoy and i hope you can find the ghost of requiem arbiter's quest odst hive banished garrison pack go go ask your mums you know uh every time in life you know when you're a child and you're growing up in a household you you just you you beg at all times you know please can i have this new halo this is, no, I swear, Mum, this is a new Arbiter. This is different. It has a paint wash. No, no, I swear, this is a different ODST. This is from a trailer that was shown 10 years ago. Mum, please. And then all children are just building up to that one beautiful moment when your mother issues those six words. All right, fine, go get my purse. Beautiful. All right, I'll see you all next time. You stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. The Domain.
is signing off. Happy hunting, boys.